Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly video. Alright, so, pretty good week. Definitely a good one. I found a super treasure hunt. Bam. Tesla. Pretty cool. Um, not keeping this one, so I'm not going to open it. This one's actually going to my buddy, uh, Shresh. Uh, he actually needs it for a trade, I guess, or something. So he asked if uh, I would uh, hook him up with it. And yes, of course, I will. Because I'm not really into it. <clears throat> it's cool, though. I mean, it's all right. I was glad to find it. I mean, it's always cool to find a super. Um, I'm just not into this casting very much. So just not going to keep it. So one more quick peek at it. It's dark blue. Real Rider tires. Anyway, I was still excited to find it, so that was pretty awesome. Um, was sticking with Hot Wheels for a moment, I did find actually a, quite a few mainline vehicles. On a, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not going to open them all in the second segment. I might open a couple. I might just save some of these for like a future Ten Car Tuesday or something. But I picked up a few cars, um, and I'll show you them all right now, real quick. Uh, we got the Jaguar. XE SV Project 8, the Jaguar XJ220, which is a casting I collect, so I'm still stoked that they still use this casting. And a regular treasure hunt, Camaro. Pretty cool. I might pick up a couple just to open uh, in the second segment. I found the Silverado. That was pretty awesome. I uh, definitely thought I was going to struggle finding any of this stuff, but I was like first to some Q cases. No supers in the case. I did get the purple Porsche. Where did I put that? Right here. Oop, oop. I definitely want this super badly. This is a super treasure hunt I do want. Um, so hopefully I'm able to find one, or uh, one of my buddies finds one and is able to trade it to me for something that would be great. Um, another casting I collect here, the Dodge Van. Here it is in gold. Pretty cool. It came out in chrome earlier in the year, and now we got it in gold, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a casting I collect as well, the Mercury Cougar, uh, the 68 Cougar. This thing is uh, pretty awesome. looks pretty cool um, in this, you know flamage it came out earlier in the year it was a super treasure hunt already earlier in the year which i got lucky and i found it so i was really happy about that and it was kind of cool that they came out with another version of it uh pretty neat pretty neat looking and uh let's see here what else did i pick up uh there were a couple lambos in the case you know i'm a big fan of lamborghini we got the revington roadster and the huracan uh revington roadster i think this is the second version of this this year this time in white um, looks pretty awesome. And then uh, the Lamborghini Huracan. Huracan. Pretty cool. Uh, that one's kind of a cool color, too. It's like this weird uh, kind of grayish color with uh, orange stripes. It looks nice. Um, so there's that. Um, I picked up this goofy thing, the Glockzilla R35. I don't know what's different about this one from the first release. And I'm not going to dig out. I have the first release of it somewhere. And I'm not going to dig it out to compare. I don't know what's different about this. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so there's that one. And then uh, the 69 Dodge Charger. I thought this looked good in uh, Hot Wheels livery. So there's that one. Pretty cool. Uh, the Range Rover Velar. I think I might already have this, actually. I'm not sure. It's a nice looking car. Nice looking mainline. Um, here's the regular Tesla. So non-super version. All right. And then uh, the Morris Mini. This is also could be found in a super treasure hunt in the previous case, I believe. Uh, in end cases, maybe. I don't know. All I know is I want that Q case. I don't really care about the, the Mini, having the Mini um, super. <clears throat> And this thing's pretty cool, the Aston Martin Vulcan. Maybe we'll open up this one in the second segment and take a quick peek at it. I'll pick out a couple to, to look at. I'm just not going to look at them all because i got some other stuff to, to peek at. Um, this is a new casting for 2019. It looks pretty neat, so we might open up that one. And then this uh, Polizei uh, Porsche Panamera. Mm, 
not a huge fan of the Panamera casting. I don't know. It looks all right, I guess. <clears throat> so there's that. Okay, I also, the same place that I found the Super Treasure Hunt at, I also found some of the uh, satin and gold cars. So I got the Datsun Bluebird Wagon. Um, and I couldn't remember if I had, I think I had got one of these from someone else already. Um, but then I couldn't find it to decide whether or not I had it. I may have it. I lose track sometimes. Um, so whatever. We're going to open it that one in the second segment. And then I picked up one car from the new Hot Wheels Premium Pop Culture series, uh, the Beatles series, and that was this one right here. The custom GMC panel van. And now that I'm looking at the series shoot, I should have picked up the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. I actually, I don't know if that was actually there. I think someone might have actually grabbed all those because if I would have seen that, um, I probably would have snagged the panel van because that's a pretty cool one. I know I don't care about the combat medic or the deco delivery or the quick delivery, but the, the panel, panel bus... Yeah, I probably should have grabbed that if that was there. I'm not sure if it was or not. I was kind of in a hurry. So um, there's that. And let's see. You picked up a Matchbox car, just a pink Cadillac. Pretty cool. I couldn't figure out if I had this one already either, but I don't see it. So I'm losing it. I'm losing it as far as figuring out what I have and what I don't. Uh, one other store grab is this right here, this 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge from Johnny Lightning, 50 years, Muscle USA, one of 3500, version A. Sweet GTO casting. I love this casting, so had to snag that one. Um, this one is 2018 release, what is it, 2019, 2019 release one. Very cool. I like that casting a lot. All right. Um, let's see. One more Hot Wheel. I got this from my buddy Jeremy Bolter. It's a mystery model. It's the Dotson Bluebird Wagon, I believe, is what's in here. Um, yeah, number three. Okay, so yeah, it is. I still would like to get what other cool cars are in here besides, I think, really just the Mustang, the Boss. If I can find a Mustang in this series, I think that's the only other one I really would care to um, acquire. So that would be cool. Um, if you've been watching my videos this week, you also saw I did a base swap on some Auto World trucks. I thought those turned out really cool. Um, I caught a little bit of hate for it, though, um, for drilling those cars apart. Um, just to clarify, I had a few extras, and they were mine, and that's what I wanted to do is base swap them. I wasn't the first person to do it either, by the way. Um, <clears throat> if you look on eBay for them, a lot of people have base swapped these trucks, actually. Um, so I decided I had to do it with the other. So this is the original version A. This is the base swapped version A. Looks pretty good. And then here, of course, is the version A of that truck and the yellow one. Base swapped. Looks awesome. Uh, we'll look at these close up in the second segment of the video just because. But I did catch a little bit of comments like, oh, that was pointless and, and whatever. But I don't know, man. I think they look cool. And uh, honestly, when these trucks come out like this, if there's an opportunity to base swap some more of them, I'll do it. And just a little piece of advice, you guys. Auto World, I've had a lot of people say they have trouble finding Auto World. Their Walmart only gets one case, and that's it. I don't get stuff, I don't get my cases of Auto World from Walmart. Um, you just cannot rely on that. You've got to find a hobby dealer that sells these things at a good price and pre order the stuff. Then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to drive around and worry about it. That's why I ended up with extra trucks, is because I pre ordered extra trucks. Uh, not necessarily with the purpose of doing this, with the purpose of hoarding them, but once I saw someone else swap the the base uh, from the step side onto these uh, fleet side pickups and saw how awesome it looked, I'm like, I have to do it. I'm going to do it. So I did it. And I think they look great. So I'm not, not, don't normally, I've never customized an auto roll car before until then. So, and I guess that's not even really a custom, it's just a base swap. All right, sticking with auto roll for a moment. 
really the creme de la creme of the week was the fact that I checked this ultra red, this ultra red, this ultra red, and this ultra red off my list. Pretty cool. All right, so <clears throat> these two came from Jeremy Bolter. He did find them locally. He got lucky and uh, found both of these. So that is fantastic. Thanks, Jeremy. I really appreciate it. Uh, Jeremy, when he finds Ultra Reds, um, he uh, basically just saves them for me because he doesn't collect them. Um, if it is a casting like he collects, then he will keep it. But these two are really not something that he's into and I'm that makes me happy because then he ends up trading them to me um, this one was an eBay uh, buy which I actually got really cheap um, so that's cool a bit I put a low ball bid on and I won it kind of unexpectedly so that was pretty cool and then this one I got from an Instagrammer so pretty awesome. I posted a post of all four of these ultra reds to my um, Instagram and shouted out the proper people. So check out that post if you're on Instagram. <clears throat> and that's it. Um, I'm also not going to open up all of these ultra reds right away. I think we'll pick out. Well, I think I'm going to open up. I don't know. What should we do? Hmm. Well, this was the last one actually I needed to complete this series, this 2018 release two. I got three of the six this week, and I already had the other three. So I had the two pickup trucks and uh, the Galaxy. So I think what we're going to do... I think we'll open up these two. And then I'm going to save this one for my series completion video. I always like to save one ultra red to open to complete the series. So I think we'll open up these two. I think I'll hang on to this one for maybe a free the piece Friday, maybe. I don't know. And then uh, I think we'll open up. I think we'll open up those two. I think that's what's going to happen. All right. So that's it. This is a long enough first segment, but I did find a lot of stuff here. I've even got some more stuff I didn't show you that I got in the mail. I'm saving for next week, probably some premium stuff. Got an order from Hobby Link Japan. And, um, excuse me, got an order from eBay. And then I've got some other really cool stuff doing, coming in the premium import department. So we're going to uh, save that for now. All right. So, yeah, let's uh, stay tuned and let's uh, let's open some stuff up. All right, guys, so let's start by taking a look at some Auto World, starting with these base swap trucks. If you want to see the version B, go ahead and uh, go back and check out my base swap Auto World video where I detailed base swapping these trucks. I'm not going to get into exactly how I did it in this video, so check it out there. Um, this is, of course, the standard non-base swap version of the yellow fleet side truck. And here is the base swap version. <clears throat> They're both super cool, okay? Um, I just really like the way that this truck looks on the traditional wheels and traditional ride height. I think it looks quite awesome and uh, just very, very cool. So, I dig it. I think it looks great. I think it looks fantastic. You really can't go wrong at all. I mean, any sort of ride height, wheels, stuff like that, that look appropriate for the truck, this look good. So this looks good either way. That looks great. This looks great. The same thing with the other one. This looks great. Looks awesome. Love it. Fantastic. Uh, this looks pretty awesome too. So this may open up a real can of worms for me, to be honest. If, uh, if I'm able to get my hands on these trucks when they release these trucks, I'm going to try to get as many as possible to make as many of my own variations of them as possible. Yep, probably going to do it. Probably going to do it. Pretty awesome. I don't think I'm that demented to the point where I would try to seek out the ultra red version of this and base swap that. 
I have the ultra red versions loose, but I don't think I'll be base swapping those. That's where I'll draw the line, right? But if I can get extras of these cars, I mean, I know they're already, I mean, creeping up in value, I guess, on eBay. Uh, people already want too much for them. And uh, someone had also commented on my video. He's like, you should have swapped the wheels front to back on the fleet side truck. And now that I'm looking at these, you know, I guess they got a little bit of a point. It, the weird thing is, is that the front wheel is more of a deep dish than the back wheel. And apparently that would look better um, the opposite way around on these. And they might be right. I thought it was just a smart aleck comment, to be honest, on the video saying, well, you, what you did was pointless, you know, swap the, the wheels from front to back. Um, but, you know, actually, now that I'm looking at these, they might have a point. So, anyway, there's those trucks. Pretty awesome. All right, so let's go ahead. I mean, we're going to have to open up the ultra out of this. So we're going to, of course, open up the other two versions as well, because that's just what we need to do so we're going to start with the 74 buick estate wagon we're going to open up two ultra reds and two each of the cast of regular cars so this is the version um a oh man i just did that there we go <clears throat> i just popped this out like that and thankfully it's actually not glued in on that side it's only glued in it looks like in the middle so I didn't wreck it. But here it is in Mediterranean Blue Poly. Interesting color. Um, it's a sweet casting. I actually like the other version of the grill, though. The one that they put out in the previous series. I think it was the previous series. I'm not going to try to pop that hood open uh the wood on the side of this one almost looks to be just solid brown but if you look really close there is wood grain in it it's just very very finely detailed <clears throat> so that is pretty cool all right let's open up version b and here's version b uh the color of this is cinnamon Holly. Well, it's lovely. We don't need to go too in depth on these because these videos have already been done before as far as for the regular releases of this 2019 Premium Release 2. Uh, the Premium Release 3 is starting to hit stores now. Um, I've seen it pop up and so it's good because I just completed this series in time. Now the other series is popping out at Walmarts and hopefully Hopefully my good friends will start finding the chases and I'll be able to trade for some stuff or buy some chases off of people. So it's just, I don't, I can't hunt anymore, guys. I, I just can't. I, I do every once in a while. I stop places, but I really just can't. I don't have uh, the time for it anymore. I just don't. It'll, the time will come again um, where I will be able to do it again. But as of right now, I just don't have the time. Even right now, as I'm filming this video, my whole rest of my family is sleeping. And really, I should probably be sleeping too. But uh, it's the only time I get to do stuff with a hobby. So um, here we go. And uh, this is Ultra Red. Of course, these have Ultra Red bases, Ultra Red bodies. And then they follow the traits, I believe. Actually, you know what? I thought these followed the traits of the a car but hang on a second so this one has the same this is interesting guys um they're supposed to follow the traits of the a series car but the weird thing about this is if that were 100 percent true this should have a blue interior see how that's got a blue interior see that's got a tan interior this should have a blue interior if it were to follow the a version car hmm 
and it does not. It has a black interior. So that is interesting. Now that's going to make me have to look at a bunch of others of these to see if there's a variation out there of one with a blue interior. So they all have ultra red base, and I believe they're all supposed to be um, copies of the A version traits, which means this should have a blue interior, and it doesn't. That is interesting. All right, so let's move on, though. Um, <clears throat> The next one we're going to look at is uh, the Chevy Impala SS uh, convertible, 62 Chevy Impala SS convertible. We'll start with version A in silver blue poly. And there it is. <clears throat> and this whole version A thing is going to become apparent when we look at the uh, ultra red for this one. So it's cool. Um, this is definitely not my favorite Auto World casting. It's still pretty nice. Just not a huge fan of this body style Impala. It's all right. It looks really the coolest one that it looks at so far, actually, is that uh, El Pachuco car. But it's still very detailed. It's still very nice. Awesome details, and uh, of course, it's awesome in tuxedo black, which is the version B. Just this guy right here, black, black interior. Don't want to fingerprint this one up because it'll be a tough one to clean stuff off of. What's the nice thing about metallic paint jobs like this that are not super glossy? You don't really have to worry much about fingerprints showing up, but on these uh, gloss black ones, that's where you got to worry. Anyway, great look for this car actually in black. It looks looks really good. <clears throat> and then of course in red. So let's go ahead and open up the ultra red. Okay, so the ultra red. This is where this is what I'm talking about. So here it is. It's got the blue interior. Okay, the version A car, which makes sense. It's got an ultra red base. Um, they even put ultra red right here on the visors, which I thought was pretty pretty nice little touch. Um, that's not something I don't think that's normally done. But of course, it's convertible, so they don't have a lot of convertible castings in the lineup. Just this one in a galaxy. So, looks pretty good. Pretty awesome. Again, this one's not uh, this one's not entirely desirable. You can get it uh, the ultra red uh, from eBay. Probably fairly easy. Um, and then numbers wise for these, I'm not sure what they're limited to. It's going to be like three percent of almost eleven thousand. So. You can do the math and figure that out. A few hundred, three hundred or so ultra reds if this exists. So from ultra red standards, I mean they're not super limited. Chase standard wise, though, from other companies and stuff like that, they are pretty rare and limited. So you guys know I love my ultra reds. So I'm so happy to complete the whole series. The last one we got to open up is that Golf Corvette. I'm not going to do it in this video. It will be opened up, though, in the series completion video. I might show my Chevy truck base swaps again in that video, too. Who knows? Great series from Auto World with those Chevy trucks, and the rest of the cars were, were really good, too. All right, so let's move on. Uh, the rest of this video is going to be some Mattel products. So we're going to do um, this First, the satin and gold uh, Datsun 510 wagon. I was happy to just score this in store. Pretty cool. Yep, I like the 510 wagon casting. This is definitely not the best variation of it out there, but I think it looks pretty good. I think we're kind of due for a premium of this casting again. I'm kind of surprised, actually, that they haven't. They've been kind of putting it out in weird stuff, like you get it in a mystery model, you get it in, uh, you know, the satin and gold. It was in the mystery models twice. Speak of that. Up. 
here is this one. Pretty wild sticker. It's cool. <clears throat> Definitely a wild scheme on this one. Mixed wheels. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Would definitely look better with better <laughs> with different wheels though. Sorry about it. Just my opinion, man. Alright. Um, oh, let's just do this pink caddy real quick too. Why not? A silver top. Who doesn't like a pink Cadillac? That's cool, and you know what's also cool about this is Matchbox actually did a chrome uh, base. They've been monkeying around with doing uh, like these gray bases, silver bases, which in some cases it really worked well, and in other cases it really didn't. And in this case, the chrome is a much better choice, so I'm glad that they went with that. It's a nice looking Cadillac. Again, a nice looking basic model, which you know Matchbox is really second to none when it comes to the one dollar models that looks good that looks good and these wagons look pretty decent too out of the two of course i think i prefer the uh um satin and gold one i'm just looking there used to be that whole big thing about the smooth grill and waffle grill variation is that still a thing? So, Waffle Girl. This is also a Waffle Girl, but it looks like it's finer uh, than the other one. I don't know if that's a different tooling or what. Who knows? Anyway, I don't really care about variations that are that minute. <coughs> so, all right, so next up is this Beatles one. The GM, custom GMC panel van. You know, and I almost didn't pick this up. I, I, pick, I love vans. Shout out to that van guy. But I almost didn't even pick this up. I like the Beatles. I mean, I don't mind the Beatles. I'm just not Beatle crazy. And uh, the reason is, is like I've been kind of looking at my collection. And castings that I have that are in the pop culture lineup, I think I might get rid of all of them. I just don't like the, the crazy graphics, you know, and uh, it's just, you know, there's some castings that I collect that I want every variation of, and so far I have every variation of this, so I kind of, that's, I guess, was the driving force behind, I guess, picking this up, but uh, for pop culture releases that I don't... Um, have an affection for the actual casting. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna keep them. I think I'm gonna get rid of them because they just. I don't know. They don't display all that well. They're kind of goofy. Uh, it's not. The car doesn't look super realistic at all. If if if. Yeah, I guess that's all I'm gonna say for now. Um, so I always think about thinning out part of my collection and. Pop culture definitely could be one that could go. whatever random pop culture cars I've got. The vans will be the last to go. If I decide to get rid of those, I will. But uh, since I collect the castings, it's kind of hard. If, it, if you want every variation with a lot of these vans, you're stuck with a lot of pop culture. That's just the way it is. So, for now. All right, there's that. I really hope they come up with a car culture van. Van section. Let's open up some mainline Hot Wheels. To be honest, the only reason why I got this one is because it's a Porsche. I like Porsche, and that's why I grabbed it. Otherwise, I probably would have left it behind. In my opinion, it's pretty ugly. It's got a red window, and that's pretty much all I really need to say about it. Um, if it didn't have the red window, it might look a little bit better. The color of chrome that's on the lip of the wheels doesn't really match the color of blue. Um, on the car and it kind of looks a little off-putting as well and in general I'm just not a huge fan of this casting but it's a Porsche and uh, I collect Porsche Hot Wheels and Porsche any 164 die 
scale die cast Porsche I do collect so <coughs> so that's why it ended up in the collection I'm gonna go in the Porsche collection sticking with Porsche yes I really want to find the super of this but the just straight up mainline car looks pretty awesome and it actually looks pretty awesome with these wheels I love this casting. This casting's great. Um, oh, it's too bad I don't have it handy. My buddy Jeremy Bolter actually made me a custom of this casting a long time ago, and it's really awesome. I have it in my collection. It's purple. Well, it's kind of purple. It's got like that color shift color uh, paint to it, and it looks fantastic. I should have grabbed it out for this, but this would have been a good, nice matching pair to that. Um, I believe that Super is actually a little bit lighter shade of purple. It's not quite as deep. But I, st I want it. This car looks awesome, though. I think it looks great. This is Hot Wheels right here at its best, as far as I'm concerned. Here's a look at that Porsche. Even with those wheels. Those wheels actually look actually amazing on this car, I think. So I'm for it. All right, there's that one. We're sticking with some cool cars here. This is the Lamborghini Huracan. Love this casting. Should I do it? Should I do it? If you watch my channel for a long time, every single time I show one of these Huracans, I have to grab because it's right above here. I do have a custom of this casting, and I have it right, right near me. Um, these wheels, by the way, same wheels as the Porsche, look pretty decent on the Huracan, too. But here's one made by my buddy Angel. This is the same casting as this. Believe it or not. Nice clean cut up here. And this thing looks absolutely fantastic. This thing hang this is the car it was originally. This thing hangs on my uh, hangs on my wall in my room. And it's just a super cool looking custom, just amazing. I should take some cool pictures of this again and post it to Instagram. It's been a long time, so that deserves a reboot, maybe. Just a fantastic job detailing that out. So I'll put that back in its home. But uh, there's your mainline car from this year. Um, I probably should grab a couple extras of those. I might get into customizing again sometime. I wouldn't mind doing a few customs of this Lambo, giving it some sweet paint job and throwing some cool real riders on her. Yeah, it's just a nice looking Lamborghini. <coughs> I like it a lot. And then sticking with Lambo for a moment, we got the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. Here it is. In a very Italian paint job. With the same sort of wheels. And I guess these wheels look really good on, on Superfurs. I guess there's really no denying it. I think they look pretty good on this one, too. This is a pretty cool casting. I don't know. I like it. Livery looks good. Pretty basic. Got Lamborghini on the back there. A little Lambo thing on the hood. Uh, the nice thing about these cars, too, is you can get, like, a two-surface tampo and still have headlights and taillights um, and, like, a graphic on the top because the headlights are basically printed on the top. So, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. I like it. All right, another casting I dig. The Jaguar XJ220. This casting is old. Um, when did this come out? This should tell us here in the copyright data in the base. 1992. So this is, in 1992, I would have been 10 years old. And still in the house. I was in the house a lot of my life. Um, so I remember picking Jaguar XJ220s off the pegs, and I think I had a couple of them in silver, the original colors that came out. Uh, this looks pretty cool too. Uh, not bad, not terrible. I'm just glad they're still using this casting. Um, and any variation of it that they put out, I'll grab. I've got a lot of variations of this car. so. Not quite complete on them, but 
one day it will be. So there's that one. Uh, let's look at a couple more. Let's do definitely going to be a fave in the case. I don't think this one will get hoarded like too bad. It's in the Art Car series and um, the issue with this, mainly the reason why people pick up these trucks is because they want to make customs of it. Let's be honest. Um, <clears throat> of course they like the Silverado. It's cool to have every version of it. Yes, it's a very desirable casting and while we have it out, why not? Right? Should I take the base off of one of these Auto Worlds and try to adapt it to a Hot Wheels? They literally are almost the exact same size. Um, the Hot Wheels actually has a little bit more length to it. But like width and stuff, they are right on. Like right on. Hmm. So the Hot Wheels actually made this thing probably pretty close to 164 scale. That's pretty cool. Yeah, of course I'm not going to do that, but uh, <clears throat> it would be kind of a fun experiment just to see if it fits. I could always unscrew one of the bases that I did the base swap of and just kind of see how close it would be to fit. The only problem is, of course, is the base is just the base, and the base on this car actually includes the front grill and everything. So it's obviously not going to work. It would be neat to kind of mock it up just to see what it looked like, though. Anyway, really cool casting by Hot Wheels. The, what I was going at before is a lot of people want these to customize them. This yellow windshield is going to get in the way of that, though. Um, so that's too bad. If it had a clear windshield, I mean, I, these will get hoarded, I guess, either way. But I wouldn't hoard these ones for customs because of the windshield color. <clears throat> so pretty cool challenge, it says on there. Yeah, it's a letter G. Good variation of that truck. Uh, let's see here. A couple more. Let's do the 68 Mercury Cougar. Love this casting. Big fan of it. Um, cool, like, Halloween-ish version of it. With these stark white tires, white kind of flames, and uh, this matte black finish. Um, yeah pretty cool I think this is like a low-key uh, Halloween car that's what it seems I think it looks pretty cool though I'm digging it all right um let's open yeah let's just keep going here let's do the Aston Martin Vulcan brand new casting Look at that. That is wild looking. Such a futuristic but yet kind of minimalistic looking vehicle. Just in its shape and form. It uh, looks very future robot. Admittedly, I don't know much about this actual real car. If this is like... Uh, it's a track only car it's got a seven liter v12 i'm reading the back of the card right now um just made for fast lap times mid-engine layout low mounted rear wing keep it glued to the tarmac okay track only car um i don't know if they actually made a bunch of these or what or if this is still in concept phase i just know much about it it's a pretty sleek looking car though look at the tiny little headlights just on the side like that. Kind of got a stingray look to it. Dare I say this almost looks Corvette-ish. And yeah, I think it kind of does. All right, so moving on from that. Pretty cool looking car though. And then, uh, let's see here. Should we bother opening up? Let's do this one. Let's just stick to new castings here. Let's do the Jaguar XE SV Project 8. We're turning this into a really long video, which is fine. If you're sticking around, you like mainline cars and chatting about cars, take a look at this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love the color. Uh, I love the fact that it's got front detail and rear detail. 
Now, this is another car I don't know anything about, so let's take a look at the back here. It's got a V8 engine that pumps out 592 horsepower. Most powerful street legal car in Jaguar history. Each one is hand assembled and only a few hundred will will be produced. Will be. So doesn't necessarily mean they are produced. Uh, it's a four door. It's gonna be a fast four door. Street legal fast car, five liter V eight engine. I'm sure it will not uh, be a slouch. It looks pretty cool. I, I don't know. The, the front end, it looks a little bit boxy to me. And I don't know how the real car looks. But. <coughs> Excuse me. But the front end looks a little bit boxy to me. Looks a little squared off. Interesting. I'll have to look up the actual car to see what it looks like. Or I guess it would be in concept phase maybe right now. I don't know. And then, lastly, let's just get this open, the Range Rover Velar. I'm pretty sure I already opened up one of these. I just don't know where it is. And this will be the last one we're going to take a look at. New casting for 2019. And I think they did a pretty good job on it. We got details where we want them, on the back and on the front. And the top is all plastic, which in this case makes sense. Is there something weird going on on the top of this thing? I don't know. It just looks like it's almost melty up there. Anyway. It's a good looking, good looking SUV. Rolls nice. Looks nice. Uh, I will say that Hot Wheels is doing a really good job with their new models um, of this year in particular, 2019. It just seems like they've really you know, uh, really try to make them look more realistic and stuff like that. I think they've kind of, I don't know if they, I would say they took a page from Matchbox and that. Uh, but, you know, there's not really much exaggerated feature going on here, and that's, that's awesome. So, all right, so anyway, that's going to be it for this very, very long uh, weekly video. I've got a lot more to look at in the upcoming weeks. Of course, if you like these videos, check out the playlist, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Thank you very much, and have yourself a great day.